Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today I assembled some acoustic instruments I had lying around in my home, like an accordion, a hand drum and a telephone. And um, yeah, I've uploaded them to my web page for you to download and use freely. And also I'll um, upload them to my Archi MPC-1 and use uh, the synth engine or the sample engine of that machine to create some interesting patches maybe. So here we go. Okay, so here I'm at my MPC and yeah, I've prepared an empty song. Uh, now let's uh, begin by creating a key group with the accordion samples. And let's see what we can do with that. So I begin by browsing my file system, then go to places and my SD card here. And I've separated all the accordion samples on my PC beforehand. And now let's just load them all into memory here. That are a lot of samples. Perhaps there's a possibility to load them all at once. Uh, maybe I should look into the manual, but I didn't. So <laughs> now I've loaded all the samples. Now let's go and edit this program and uh, let's call it accordion. Okay, and um, now press program edit on the MPC. And now we've got our key groups here and I think we, we will have um, 12 key groups. And um, let's begin with the first one. Um, assign a sample here. And this is A sharp three. So on the keyboard, it's on the keyboard. It's here. But let's listen to the original sound. Uh, okay, um, that's quite different. So we need to tune that sample down. All right. And now, um, because I've sampled all the, um, the notes on the accordion separately, um, I want this just to sit on this very uh, key here. So uh, let's go to the master page, then press on this uh, note here, then we'll scroll all the way up to A sharp three, and this is BB3 here, and we'll limit this to BB3. So, or B flat 3 if you want to. And we can also set down the polyphony uh, of this to mono because if we're assigning it to only one um, key on the keyboard, then uh, we don't need polyphony, obviously. So, here we go. <laughs> Okay, uh, now I'll repeat this process for each and every um, uh, note um, I've recorded previously, and I'll see you back later. Okay, I'm back and I've assigned all the, um, all the samples to um, all the keys here. And yeah, let's listen to this. Yeah, that's an accordion for sure. But now let's see what we can do on the MPC and um, let's try to change that into something more modern sounding. So go to the program edit page and then let's start with a filter. And uh, I want to apply a filter to all of uh, my key groups. So first tap on the top of the screen and then <laughs> go to all. Now we'll select a low pass filter maybe. Low pass filter 4. Uh, let's change the quick link to here so I can use um, the knobs to adjust the cutoff frequency. And here we go. Let's play a chord. Okay, uh, let's add some resonance. 
All right, and now let's add a filter envelope. So increase um, the amount on the, of um, control the envelope has on a filter. Okay, uh, now let's reduce the cutoff frequency. Okay, now we want to adjust the envelope itself, so we want to have a long attack, long release, uh, yeah, a fast, uh, slow decay, and a bit of sustain here. Listen to this. Yeah, that sounds like a synthesizer now. So what we also want to do is to adjust uh, the amplitude envelope and do the same here, a little bit more release, a slow decay and let's listen. Yeah, maybe a little bit less of release there. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's dial down the um, um, the master volume a bit because this is uh, distorting. So let's. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's add some LFO modulation. I want to put a slight modulation on the filter here. And I want the tempo of the LFO to sync to the tempo of my beat. So, uh, yeah, let's go for example, um, this is too fast, this is nice, so let's add some more, maybe a little bit of uh, um, volume modulation too, and a lot of panning modulation, so it goes from left to right. That's nice. Okay, so far so good. Now let's add some effects. Uh, we'll go to the effects. No, um, we can't go to the effects page because um, all though I um, chosen um, all the creep groups here, um, applying an effect only uh, applies uh, the effect of the first key group. I think that's a bug in the MPC software. But um, there's a workaround, let's go to the track mix page and then select the accordion and then we can add our insert effects here. So let's start with the chorus. So that's here and let's choose the multi-chorus. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, maybe a little bit less depth here. All right, and um, then let's add a delay effect. And uh, yeah, that's this one. And uh, let's uh, increase the delay time a bit and dial down the mix. And also increase the width of the effect. I think we could dial down the filter a bit, so um, let's go back to the filter page and adjust the cutoff frequency. Okay, that's nice. And uh, yeah, now I'll repeat the same thing, um, assigning samples to key groups and adding uh, synthesizer effects to the hang drum and the metallophone and I'll come back to you once I'm done. Okay, so um, I've loaded the drum kit and the bass and I've created the metallophone and the hang drum. Um, sounds like this. And the metallophone sounds like this. And we've got this bass here. 
and the nice 80s drums. Okay, so let's try a small loop and uh, let's go to uh, set the tempo to 111. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> now uh, yeah, let's record a small beat, a short beat. I've gone for eight bars of music here. Uh, let's go. Okay. Hi hat maybe. So let's press overdub and play start. Okay, uh, so far so good. I think there was one snare missing. Let's add that. Okay, let's listen. Okay, uh, so let's uh, add um, let's add the accordion now. Something like this. Let's go. Okay, so now let's add a modern thing and let's add um, a side chaining to this pad. So let's go to the track mix. And I want to add uh, a side chaining effect to the accordion. So choose this track, press this, and then um, let's uh, select the side chaining effect. This you'll find this in Dynamics, and it's aptly called Mother Docker. Ah, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's go to back to the mixer. Um, we want now want to add a source for the side chaining effect and that will be the drums. So let's add um, another effect here and add the mother docker input uh, onto this track. And uh, now get back to the track mixer and to the accordion. Let's edit um, the side chaining effect while we're listening to the track. So far, so good. Now let's add the bass. Okay, so here we go. So far so good, now let's add uh, some metallic chimes. Okay, here we go. It's okay, um, we don't want to create a hit song here, just a short demo. Here's the hang drum. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. <laughs> what am I doing here? Once again.
Okay, um, so far so good. <laughs> now uh, let's perhaps add a lead um, for at the last element. So let's add a plugin program here and let's uh, use the tube sound and let's listen to the lead sounds. Oh well. Perhaps this one. Let's try something. Okay, here we go. That doesn't sound good. Uh, let's use another one. Oh, the rap whistle. <laughs> okay, let's use that one. Yeah, uh, as I said, you can download these samples from a webpage www.floydsteinberg.com. It's right on the front page. You don't need to register. And if you use these samples, um, why don't you upload that um, creation of yours uh, to YouTube or somewhere else and then send me an email and I will happily feature that in an upcoming video. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember, those samples are free for you to download, no registration needed, uh, on my webpage. Link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching. See you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.